First and foremost, if you're watching this video, chances are you have a dog, um, a puppy with Parvo, and I sincerely hope that you make it through. It's a really sad thing to watch your puppy or dog um, be so sad looking. This is Kia, and this is pretty much what she's been doing since yesterday um she's moving around a little bit that's her favorite toy um so anyways um i the night before she was throwing up a lot while i was sleeping um and didn't know what was wrong with her in the morning um we woke up and figured out that she has parvo um so so sad. So, um, okay. I did a lot of research and everything online. And if you're like me, you can't afford the vet. You can't afford 2000 to $3,000 for her or your puppy to be put on IVs and uh, medication. So I found out that, um, puppies actually die, um, from parvo not because of the virus itself but because of the dehydration because of the diarrhea and the um the throwing up the nausea so um i w i i did what i have to do this is day two um as you saw she does move around a little bit she didn't do as much yesterday um so what i started with and everything i'm going to tell you right now is stuff that i researched um hours yesterday hours I didn't go to work yesterday um just spent my entire time researching because like I said I can't afford the vet and I have to save my puppy that is my goal anyway so um as humans when we have nausea or something what do we do we take Pepto-Bismo so I used a generic one but yeah so I gave her some Pepto-Bismo in the morning and um after that I started doing a little bit of research. Of course, I researched that also. Um, I uh, found out that a lot of um, people doing home care for their puppies with Parvo use, um, oops, <laughs> use um, Paxson. So everybody was ordering it on eBay or Amazon or whatnot. And um, I don't, I don't have time. I needed it right away. So what I did was I called, um, feed stores around my area and I found one that carried it and um the price was a little pricey I'm not gonna lie um but everybody swore by it and as soon as I walked in and asked for it the girl asked me um if my dog had parvo so I guess it's a very common thing so what I did was I got that and also a lot of people were saying to use fish mox fish mox is an antibiotic made for fish however they do give it to dogs and i believe other animals i'm not sure but i know for a fact they give it to dogs so i did that what you do with the fish mocks is you give it to them once a day um it used to be in liquid form but they don't have it in liquid form anymore so they only have tablets so i crush it up and put it in with a little bit of pedialyte just to um get it a little wet get the um the turkey baster that I took the needle off, obviously, and I um, give it to her. So another thing that, like I said, what kills them is dehydration. So you have to have Pedialyte. Now you could obviously use a generic kind, but I just, I happened just to grab this one because everybody said, unflavored is better I've seen some people that use the flavored one and in the beginning actually I was using grape um but uh I went to the store and got this one just you know regular Pedialyte I've been giving her a syringe full of that not full but like um about 15 every 30 minutes or so it is hard because you got to open their mouth and, you know, um, push it down their throat. But um, she's taking it good. She doesn't have any gagging or anything. I, I heard a lot of people's dogs have gagging, but she hasn't gagged, you know. And um, 
the the Paxson, I guess you give it to them. I should have said this earlier, but yeah. The Paxson, you give it to them. Um, for the first hour, you give it to them every 15 minutes. It has instructions of the weight and how much you give it to them and stuff like that. So you just follow that. I've been following the 11 pounds. Um, you follow the instructions for the first hour. You give it to them every 15 minutes. After that, you give it to them every hour. And then after that, apparently, if their stomach hasn't had any kind of like throwing up or anything like that, you kia, kia. I don't like to see wider in our eyes. Um, you give it to them every four hours, I believe it is. I haven't reached that part yet. Like I said, this is only day two. So another thing that I've been giving her because, you know, she hasn't been eating is um, chicken broth. Because she hasn't been eating, you know, when we're sick as humans, what's good for us? Chicken soup, right? So I figure chicken broth has, I've also researched it, um, has a lot of nutrients and, you know, um, stuff that she needs right now because she isn't doing too good. Um, I've been giving her that. And another thing, which just sounds weird to me, but like I said, I've researched everything. A few people have been giving their dog goat's milk. Weird, right? So, um, I also researched goat's milk after, you know, I saw a few people giving it to them and it makes sense. I guess goat's milk is very easy to digest, um, faster than regular cow's milk. And it does have vitamins A and D. And, you know, as humans, when we have diarrhea or nausea or just a stomach flu, you know, we lose a lot of vitamins and stuff like that. So a little puppy, you know, she needs it. So I'm going to start that today. In my opinion, um, from yesterday, yesterday she threw up after, you know, we uh, woke up and stuff. She threw up a couple times. And they don't throw up anything, like any food or anything like that. What they throw up is, um, like, foamy, you know, foam. Um, she did have diarrhea a couple times. Um, but overall, you know, I think she did pretty good. You know, I did, gave her the Pepto twice yesterday. Once in the morning and once in the afternoon. Um, she slept through the night. You know, she didn't do any throwing up or anything. So, I think that's a very positive thing. Um... So, I will keep you guys informed. This is, like I said, day two. I heard by day four you see prog um, progress or whatnot. Um, I will keep you guys in my prayers and do the same for Kia. God bless.